Good day guys, come you, welcome to Languiza M. So right on this week 3S5, let's ignore the timeless rule and go straight to battle. So right, um, if you're highly trained or not so highly trained, feel free to use this combination Landis as tanker and we shall use Emoto Rachel's and Liquor Rise, followed by MVP Lithony and Debuff King Bozo. So the enemy will be from the protagonist team. We have Marshall Landis, Rachel, Ladin, and Tiaris. So right now we're gonna count the stats. So this is gonna be a bit of cheesy and quite easy to use. All right. Um, right off the bat, Landis will move to this position and cast a faction buff. And yep. Then we kind of get Immortals Rachel to move to this position and cast kind of 3C. So it's Flan Service Time. Dimension Magic Break, or whichever you're gonna call. Yeah. <laughs> then, okay, Liquor is gonna move to this position. Let's do some transformation and let's give Dragon Breath. Darkness Dragon Breath. And we're gonna give enemy as much debuff as we can. And then gonna be followed by. Lefany, so we're gonna be using aim, which is to act again, and followed by the tree. See, are you guys ready? Shake it up, babe. Magic spiral. So, um, one of the benefit is either of the unit, um, Ladin or Terry's will get stuck on the water or the river or the lake, and they're gonna have some movement reduction. So that's gonna be good and cool for us. And last but not least, at the first of, end of first turn, both are going to cast a black hole and we're going to give them as much debuff as we can as possible. So, um, on the next turn, you can use the AoE skills from Lifani to prevent them from healing if you want. So apparently I am bringing a lot of AoE this to make um, a lot of low with train heroes players and it's gonna make it more convenient for you guys so right um so much debuff that an enemy basically can't do too much and then rachel's gonna go up and go on to cast another 2c spell and then land is just gonna come here and cast a 3c so his bail basically is a true man tanker and yep we're gonna cast decay if i'm not wrong oh sorry acid so acid is the one that prevent enemies from healing and after casting the aoe just move down it's all right she can well basically can sacrifice her on the next turn then followed by an earthquake that is to further reduce the intelligence or attack from enemy basically um well will reduce damage taken then followed by Liquorize 3C. Here we go. Lowly Punch. Now Lowly AoE and ta -da! Left with Mashu. So apparently um, he have two skills where um, he will not attack you directly. So yeah, apparently he's going to take a lot of fixed damage and well that's it for him. Then enemies. Landers will just basically try to hit your Lancer class. Landers and yep. That's what's gonna happen, and ta-da! It's gonna be sweet, easy, and cheesy. So right, let's just have a look at the character's item build because our bond is mostly max or level nine. So right, um, for MVP, Lifany, um, just gotta boost up her intelligence as much as possible, and most importantly, is to bring her exclusive wings of fairy, so or fairy wings. So after you attack or skill enemy you can move back two squares or tiles okay for spellcaster rachel is going to give them intelligence and hp then for lenders going to be attack and hp too and as part of the attack will become his defense so yep it's going to be pretty easy last but not least two debuffer okay the male bozo give him a pair of boots and the rest is magic defense then Liquorize is going to boost her HP, intelligence, and healing percentage as much as possible, and that's going to make the whole thing easy. So, right, we've come to the end. Last but not least, a little survey for you guys from the Egyptian Bozo. Goodbye.